What? Levi? Jeez. Ricky is following me? Oh my gosh, Levi, I don't know. So our van life trip has brought us down to Southern Ontario, where we've been for the past two weeks visiting in Hamilton. And uh, while we've been staying here, uh, a friend of Jesse's, who's now one of our friends, let us stay at their place, just kind of parked beside their, their house there for a little over a week. And then we've also just done some various different stealth camping scenarios where we find quiet streets and just kind of park up with the curtains. And so far that's gone pretty well. We want to spend about another week here, I think, and it would be kind of nice if we didn't have to keep moving around as much. It'd be nice to kind of boondock and hunker down somewhere. Ready to go explore? This looks promising. Do you see any lights on? What do you think? Um, promising. Uh, there's that like metal fire escape on the on the back side as we drove around. Mm -hmm. Almost. Okay, I think you're past. Yeah. Whoa. How about that for a green ceiling, hey? What are these big rolls of something? What? 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 Levi? Jeez. There's tunnels. Oh my gosh. This staircase looks like the sketchiest part, to be honest with you. This is nuts. Big kid following me? That one looks like it goes nowhere. Well, definitely comforting to be in the van. Oh my goodness, I'm so glad to be out of those tunnels. I'm like so ready for bed. I'm ready for bed too. Yeah, I think we're just gonna settle in for the night. I'm definitely feeling uh, pretty tired and ready to sleep. So maybe uh, we'll try to explore more in the morning. What is that? I think that was a door. Yeah, that was definitely a door sound. Oh, someone's in here. Oh, shoot. Oh, he definitely saw us. Oh, my goodness. Um, okay, I gotta, like, talk to him or something. Should I open the door? Yeah. Oh, are you sure? Well, he knows we're here, so open the door. Oh, hey, no. Guys? Did you guys find the power okay? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And that's a wrap on Spooky Intro. Great job, everybody. <laughs> Christoph, this is... I don't think we were fooling anybody on that. <laughs> Do you think they bought it? I hope so. I mean, with spook Spooky Music, will go a long way. But this is actually your building, and I was allowed to break into it. Yeah. This is pretty awesome. I, uh, I'm i jealous. I haven't, I haven't spent a night here yet. <laughs> I've had some late nights, but no full nights.
So clearly in this video, I'm trying a few different things than what I normally do in my videos. And I'm very excited to be spending a week in our van inside this old warehouse. This is just a really unique experience for me. Normally we're at mountains and we're in lakes and or at mount in mountains at lakes and that's kind of our ideal camping spot so to be spending time in a city in a warehouse is just really unique to me and i still want to show you some of my favorite aspects about this building and also chat more with christoph about his vision behind it as a future studio space so that's all going to be packed into this video and i'm going to try to do something a little bit different i want to piece together these little moments from our time here and just kind of share some stories behind them so while we were here at the warehouse i got to help peter mckinnon shoot a video by climbing up in the the rafters and rigging this really cool suspension rope pulley thingamajig. So I want to share that with you. I want to share with you some of the stories from our time here in Hamilton, some of the things that I've been learning, and then also show you what we've been doing to the van to get it ready for winter. And all of this to kind of just wrap up our last video of the year, tell you some more stories, and also just say thank you for following along the adventure that was this year for us. It's been a wild ride from finding mountain adventures on the snowboard at the start of the year, to driving the van down to California to find some surf, to having my wheel fall off on the highway, all the way to the birth of my daughter, which has just absolutely changed everything. And when I look back at these clips, it's hard for my brain to process that all of this stuff happened in the same year. Are you, are you doing anything or is no. this all me? That's all you. And this is some of the highlight real style stuff. And for those that have followed the channel, you know, this year was very hard from losing family members to uh, struggling with mental health stuff to needing to cancel my workshops, which are the highlight of my year. It just, things did not go ideally. And yet I'm still really grateful. So if you'll join me for this uh, little adventure video, I wanna tell you some stories. And if you're along for the ride, uh, I'm glad to have you here. Before we jump into what's next, I also want to take a moment to tell you about the sponsor of this video, and that is Squarespace. Now, if you've been around the channel, you know that Squarespace is my absolute favorite platform for building websites. I started using them long before they became a sponsor on the channel, and the reason for this is that they're just so simple to use. I was able to build a better looking website in 15 minutes in a coffee shop, than I had in the six months prior trying to hack something together on my own. So I'm really grateful for how easy Squarespace has made it to have an online presence for my company. And the websites built with their beautiful templates look fantastic. Squarespace makes it really easy to showcase your best work through portfolios, galleries. The websites look fantastic across every device with mobile friendly templates. They've got built in features for mailing lists. So that way, if you're going to launch a film and you want people to be able to sign up when it's going to be coming out, you can do that all built right into your Squarespace site without any additional services. They literally have just countless features and tools that I think you're going to be really impressed with. So I recommend heading over to Squarespace and getting your first website up and going with one of their trials. And when you're ready to commit, make sure that you use my code for 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Yo friend, good morning. Check out this space in the daylight. This, it's exciting. It, for me, this is just so unique and I love new experiences and getting to take the van into an old building like this is really cool. We uh, started pulling some stuff out of our back drawer this morning. That's the pile of crap over there because we're gonna do a little bit of a, a rundown and a detail on the van as we get ready for winter. What I'm trying to figure out right now is if I can take the van from this back area and fit it through these pillars on this really tight 90 degree corner right here. So this is the wood pile here. I got to make it around and then I got to turn there. So I think I should be able to like edge kind of and get up. Okay, this might not actually work. And over on this side, I'm basically already hitting that wood pile in the back. Come this way just a little bit so that way this edge doesn't hit that pole. When it looks like this side will be clear on here, then help me watch this side and I'm not trying to go straight, I'm trying to just like wiggle through. We, we laugh at 
A cool aspect about staying at this building, uh, the building's actually called Evil Empire, which is a really fitting name in my opinion. But staying at Evil Empire, almost every other day, there's a really cool project being filmed there. Stuff from YouTubers that you might know, or music videos, or just various different commercial shoots. It's just a really fun space that definitely gets the creative juices flowing about the various things you could make here. Your new studio is really cool, Christoph. Thank you. There's no bathrooms. Uh, there's no heating. There's no electrical. There are some windows. Uh, <laughs> Does it come guaranteed with light rays? No, actually, no. Uh, and what's funny is like a lot of times people rent it, they've seen that photo and they want that and then they get it and it's an overcast day. So <laughs> there's no guarantee. Would you uh, trust Jesse to put together a training program on how to one wheel? Well, on the first day where he rode my one wheel, I told him, don't go fast. He went fast and he nose dived and broke his collarbone. Oh. So, so trust is an interesting word. Oh, he didn't tell me that. Wait, Jesse, you broke... Wait, what happened the first day you one-wheeled? Chris was like, let me tell you how to use it. And I was like, don't bother. I got this. <laughs> and I just went on. I was like, full speed in the rain. And then I did, it started like acting normal, but I didn't know what normal was. So I was like, better run this one out. <laughs> Tried to tuck and roll, shoulder into the pavement. Broke my collarbone. Is that, is that what my first day is going to be like? Something to look forward to. One of the main reasons of coming to Hamilton is because it's where my friend Jesse lives. And it was really fun just getting to spend some time in his space, visit with his studio mates and kind of help him make some of these random videos that he was working on and also have him help me work on my videos. And one of the projects that we moved forward finally while we were there was recording the first episodes of our podcast that we'd been talking about for years at this point. You can actually go find our first episodes over at Make Stuff Club. It's a podcast for dysfunctional creatives and I'd love to have you on board with listening to it. So plug, 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 go check it out. I'd love to hear what you think. That's our podcast. Uh, but one of the other things that I was working on while I was there was just the client projects that I have going on behind the scenes that I don't always share about. So having nice internet for a week was really, really helpful. And then I also bought this one wheel so that way when the van is parked and Janelle and Ember are hanging out doing their thing, I can commute to the studio. And then I got this idea about making a whole video about it. So this is probably one of the more unique videos I ended up making this year was learning how to ride one. And I definitely got carried away. So if you wanna see a video that I spent way more time on than I should have, you should probably go watch that video as well. So getting to see Jesse was really cool. We spent time with him and his family camping, which was rad getting our vans out. I helped Jesse do a bunch of work on his small diesel van with a pop top and get it set up for better electrical stuff. And we made a whole video about that. And one of the unique aspects about spending time in Hamilton was kind of getting grafted into Jesse's greater, larger community of friends and just feel like we belonged. It felt like home for the time that we were there, which was really cool. And some of Jesse's friends, Kevin and Meg, let us park our van literally right in their backyard. They just welcomed us in. And for Janelle and Ember to have this lawn to hang out in and this extra space, it was just a really unique way to be doing van life in the city. And for Janelle to be able to meet another creator's wife and kind of see another family as they are on the adventure of figuring out this modern era of video making, going on walks together, that whole thing, that was special for me because I don't feel like Janelle gets to meet many other families that do things like what we are trying to do. Another cool part is that I finally got to visit a donut shop run by a cousin that I don't get to see very often, which in my opinion has the best donuts in all of Canada, hands down. And that was awesome getting to just, well, I had way too many donuts. I just ate a lot of donuts. So midweek check-in here at the Evil Empire. 
The other day, Pete came by, Peter McKinnon, and was shooting a video here about gimbals and doing all this other stuff with Christoph and the whole crew. That was really fun being able to see, you know, this building actually be used for some fire spinning and wild stuff. I have my rope access stuff, so I actually got to help do some cool rigging up in the rafters up there. Ember, do you want to climb rafters one day? <laughs> and uh, so, yeah, I had my rope access stuff, and I was able to do some cool rigging, and we rigged this awesome cable pulling up camera system. You should definitely check out Pete's video because I think it came together really well and that was fun. That was fun shooting, it was fun helping. I loved being able to climb up in these rafters. Woo! Holy crap. That was less smooth than I expected, but it still worked. Thanks for your help, man. Yeah, that was awesome. Janelle has sometimes taken the van during the day. What has it been like to drive the van again without me? It's gone all right. Pretty good. I'm not a fan of driving in the city with narrow roads, and but I feel like I'm a super mom when I drive them around in the van. <laughs> except when you need to back up. Yeah, except backing up, parking. <laughs> Those things. All the things that aren't just driving. <laughs> but there's some nice parks here in Hamilton, right? Yeah, there are. We've done some very nice walks. We had driven into Hamilton with the intention of staying there for about a week-ish. It was kind of like, yeah, a week, maybe two weeks. And by the time we were officially wrapping up our time there, over three weeks had passed, which was that time went by quicker than I had expected, but it was also a time that I, I realized I was really needing just kind of in life in general, and I was super grateful for. things all the way up on one of the last days that we were there I really wanted to get some of these shots of the light rays in the van shots that you've already been seeing in this video and we finally got the Sun at the right condition with no one else shooting in the building and there was no cool light rays because there was no dust in the air so I grabbed the one wheel grabbed this piece of chain and just ripped around for a couple minutes whipping up all this dust and that's how we got some of these really awesome post-apocalyptic shots that I'm really happy with look at that that is so epic I'm not gonna lie, this might be one of my favorite studio buildings ever. Like, <laughs> could you imagine just shooting all our videos in here and like having the space to make things? It still legitimately scares me at nighttime, all yeah. the sounds. When it's dark and the wind's howling outside. And... Have you seen the little critters that are crawling on the walls sometimes? Sometimes, yeah, a few times. I try not to look. Well, on our absolute last day here at the abandoned factory, Evil Empire, uh, we finally got the light that I've been looking forward to all week. Yeah, it's so beautiful. It's fun shooting these like post-apocalyptic vibe stuff. I feel like our van suits it really well. It does. <laughs> I'm still kind of pinching myself that this is our van yeah. and that we built it. That we're living in it. And that we're getting to explore Canada and visit people and just, it's been really special for me. We've had a good time here. This is going to wrap up our time at the factory. We are going to leave. We're off to next. We're going to start slowly making our way back west. Making our way home. Mixed feelings about that. We had first snowflakes falling yesterday, so <laughs> hopefully we get to make a nice winter storm video soon. But <laughs> that's all for this one. Thank you so much to our members who help support us making videos like this. It means a lot to us. We share special videos just with them and it's pretty cool. We give a special shout out to our producing members at the end of every video, but we appreciate all of you. Yes, for sure. That's okay, it. sign us out. That's it. Remember, life's better when you make stuff. Peace. Dude, this building is incredible thanks man yeah i'm i feel really lucky that we found it because the what we want to do with this place is so um like attached to the space and like where it is and yeah. what it feels like and what it looks like so yeah when we found this building it was kind of like 
we just knew it was the right one. Yeah. Sweet. So, the, what year was? Do you know what year this was built? I know they they turned on the power in the building in 1898. 1898. Yeah. So it was probably a few years of construction before that, but yeah. And this is a hydro building. It was one of the first hydro buildings in North America. Yeah. So it was pumping water through to generate electricity? No, so the water is pumped in Niagara Falls and then they ran cables to various substations along the way. And then oh. this was kind of the final destination. That's what the tunnels are. Probably, the tunnels probably have something to do with it, yeah. And then the, it went from here, went out to the city of Hamilton, which had yeah. the first electric streetlights in North America. First electric streetlights? Yeah. Hamilton, that's the claim to fame? Yeah, that's one of From the this ones. building? Yeah, from this what? building. What? <laughs> Yeah. You didn't leave Nicole with that Tesla. when you were telling me to come check this I know, out. just so much. It's like, where do you start with it? Yeah. <laughs> that is actually incredible. Yeah. When you first came in here alone with your own keys, did you get spooked? Have uh, you gotten spooked So here? there was one thing that came, that happened here that spooked me a little bit. So this building is 122 years old. Yeah. And in the basement that you probably saw those like arched ceilings yeah. and there's metal forms that held the concrete. And I'm told that they're, the concrete is structural, the metal forms, they just leave them in there. But um, I was down there at like 9 p.m. just using my flashlight to measure stuff and like write stuff down for the architect. And I heard this massive crash. And I didn't know what it was because it was just like lit by my flashlight. And then as I was walking back to the stairs, there's one of those pieces of metal on the ground. And like out of all of the pieces of metal, like all of them are still up there. And just one happened to fall when I was like down there by myself. Cool. Thank you. Well, yeah. If you guys are all good here, I'm going to uh, leave you to it. And I'm excited to hear how a week in the evil empire turns out for you guys. Is there like housekeeping we can call for like... There are zero internet? amenities is there internet here. here? <laughs> is there... No internet. There is running water. It's a hose uh, and there's power right there.